state like Alaska that has a lot of um, uh, oil and gas resources and coal, a lot of fossil energy resources, you know, really transitioning to um, renewables is still important because we are an isolated uh, part of the, the world and so becoming more self-reliance um, on energy is still a real goal here. Our western communities where there's not many trees or biomass available, um, you, you usually have really good wind resources. Here in the interior, you, you usually have really good wood resources available. And then you've got other communities that have good hydropower resources, a few that have good geothermal. You know, almost every community has something available to them. Alaska actually is investing more money per capita in renewable energy projects than any other state in the country is right now with state dollars, with state revenue. In our home life, because we have sled dogs, um, we can't really live in town so easily. Even up here in Alaska, they don't necessarily allow you to have 50 dogs in downtown Fairbanks. And so we live a little ways out of town. So we're really kind of on the edge of the wilderness a little bit. And we don't have standard electric power out here. There you go, guys. Ready? What I wound up deciding in terms of renewable energy for vehicles is to use um, waste vegetable oil that was otherwise getting you know, thrown away. I, I would get it from the restaurants, you know, McDonald's or whatnot, uh, filter out all the french fries, and I modified the vehicle to run directly on waste vegetable oil. So we've got two. Ken's got a truck that he runs that's also modified, and then my Jeep right here is too. In the 17 years I've been here in Alaska, I've always lived off the electric grid, as we call it. We have running water, although we haul it from town. We heat with wood, so we have to cut our wood. And then these solar panels are, you know, they, they on a nice day, can provide all the energy that we need. We've got a very efficient house with efficient lighting and efficient, you know, low, low, uh, low energy use appliances. Are you a little nervous with strangers here? You know, it's interesting because the reason I got into energy as a career is this living off the grid thing. And it's just made me much more aware of what it takes to really provide energy for a family or for a person to live a traditional life. 